visitors from the land down under at Waco ISD. Hello again, everybody. My name is Dale Caffey. Pleased to be on the campus of Bells Hill Elementary with some very, very special guests. First of all, to my right, we have Dr. Pam Dunbar. She is a deputy principal at the Camp Hill Primary School in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. And we have fourth and fifth grade teacher, Debbie Heenan. So they have come a long way to visit Bells Hill and our schools here at Waco ISD. We also have one of our many wonderful, wonderful interns at, uh, from Baylor University that intern in our schools. Uh, this is Lauren Kirkhart. Pleased to be have you with us today. And this is Dr. Betty Ruth Baker who oversees the Australia Baylor connection, if you will. And we're going to talk to all of them right now. But first of all, let's talk to our very special guests who have come a long way from Australia. Uh, we'll start with the deputy principal. Again, this is Pam Dunbar. And tell me a little bit about the purpose of your mission, your trip over here to uh, Waco, Texas. Okay. The uh, reason to come here is to make a visit to the Bali University and to see how they develop their young teachers for the future. And it has blown me away. I would have to say these young teachers, and they may not even realize that they are getting the best education they possibly could to become a teacher and we have certainly Debbie and I told them that it is just unbelievable what you're getting with these um, being having a development where you can go and work in schools for in your um, fourth year for a whole year at the school as an intern that is just wonderful and your junior uh, year too can be there four days a week I don't believe we have anything like this in all of Australia so it is really really a great program one thing you have had though since 1992 is a great partnership with Baylor University and you've been a part of that also tell me what that partnership means to to your school and to your professionals there like Debbie Okay, I think after visiting here it will mean a lot, lot more to me and I will certainly be um, doing a lot more and letting the teachers at the school know. When they come, they come at the end of the year to the school and we're just at wind down time. I think now after being here I will let the teachers know a lot more and when Ms Betty Ruth Baker comes out this time I'm going to get her to, at one of our staff meetings, explain to the staff and the principal of the school about the program here at Bala and with the relationship with all the schools in the area. Uh, I suppose at the moment we, they come and we enjoy them but because now I think after being here I realise there is a lot more to this results. program and maybe we can even develop further. How many students usually come to you from Baylor each year? Oh, possibly up to 10 students, yes, yeah, so um, it's wonderful. The teachers fight to have the Baylor University students at our school and uh, I, each time they come up and ask me if they can have one, so I imagine this will continue like that. An obvious question I have for you is the similarities and the differences in, our, in your schools compared to those here in uh, America, Waco, Texas. You go to school more and more time in the day that our students do. We don't start school until nine o'clock and we finish at three o'clock and we actually have two breaks in the day. So that makes a big difference. Uh, I suppose how we run the curriculum is very different. I can see here that your day is pretty well set in a pattern, whereas ours changes all the time due to a whole range of activities. Uh, so that, I think, is a big, big difference. You, the teachers here that I've seen seem to know that there's a set time each day for mathematics and, they say, for your literacy and things like that, where ours, because of specialist lessons, you might have maths at 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock one day. The next day it could be 10 to 11. So there's a whole different range, purely because of our specialist lessons at our school. Yeah. But I've seen you and Debbie interact with kids. Kids are pretty much the same wherever they come from, right? Kids are very much the same, and we are loving the interaction with the children at this, um, in America, in Texas. They are just wonderful, yes. Very good. Debbie, going to ask you the question, too, because obviously you, you're, you handle the kids every day, fourth and fifth graders, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, correct? Tell me a little bit about what you're learning on this trip. Well, I'm, I am learning that the cultural exchange for, you know, everything is, is just so valuable. I can see this program being an absolute value, not f just for Baylor, but if the expansion that we can get, the conversation that we can actually start to develop between students is going to be invaluable. That's, that's just where, that's what I'm excited about. I am excited about getting our students together, mm -hmm. you know, and, and being able to do that through 
you know, the Baylor connection and having those teachers come out. And, and I know that, as I said, I've been involved with the program for so long and every time the students come out and they bring out the letters from the students here, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's like, you know, where's, can I have a letter? Can we write back to them? And that, that it can just consume, can consume a whole day of, you know, what do I tell them? What's, and then I have students that have bit, sort of been connected for, for years for abs you know for mm -hmm. years on my own daughter had a pen pal in she got she got the pen pal in year 6 and we traveled out here when she finished in year 12 and she actually went to school with her pen pal from 6 years ago and they had been connected for that long and they still sort of facebook each other now so it's just it has been a lasting and as i said the cultural exchange the 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 learning that happens just from being involved and seeing somebody from another part of the world is you can't you cannot put a, a measure on it. Right. Uh, culture is one thing, but also sciences are another. And I believe that you had an experiment or, or some research you've done on the seasons because you're in the southern hemisphere, we're in the northern yeah. hemisphere, and I think you're trying to put together some sort of a project where the kids here understand that at your Christmas time you guys are out sunbathing. Correct. Yes, and that's what I'm 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 saying. Like over here they, they don't explain because they don't experience it. They don't really understand that why is, you know, we can go to the beach at Christmas, but over here they're all putting jumpers on and it's snowing and they do know about it because they read it in books and they read it. But to actually have somebody, you know, come and then to speak, as I say, to other students who, who are living that. And that's uh, hopefully we can have that same experience for the students here, that they will speak to somebody who actually lives and goes to the beach. Mm -hmm. That's where they spend their summer because it's it is it's summer there, and that's like what you have. So, yeah. Well, best of luck on your studies, and thank you so much for the visit here. We've enjoyed having you. No, we should be the ones thanking you. Honestly, it's just and Miss Betty, and you know, like. The, the program has been going for a long time and I don't think enough people know about it, but it has just been invaluable. The entire program is, as I said, you cannot put a measure on it and then for Pam and I to come and have this experience, have these schools accept us in and show us around, you know. Well, I'm sure it's uh, very, very uh, pleasurable for uh, Dr. Cohn here at uh, this school to welcome you and and I know you visited Parkdale and Mountain View and uh, Hillcrest and now Bells Hill so thank you for the visit and come back anytime. Thank you, we yes. will. Thank okay. you, we will. Very That's good, fine. we're going to turn and talk to a student who will actually go to Australia yes. and once again this is Lauren Kirkhart, uh, she is an intern here at uh, Bells Hill from Baylor University School of Education, you got to be excited. Oh I am very much excited, this has been something I've been dreaming of for probably forever. It's one of the reasons why I'm at Baylor is this program. What do you hope to gain out of your trip to Australia? I would love to learn how the Australian uh, teachers administer their assessments and just their different teaching styles and how they fit all of their teaching and all the information into that short day they've been talking about. And so I just want to learn so much from them and take it back here and wherever I go of teaching. Very good. What makes you want to be a teacher? I love um, absorbing knowledge myself and I love sharing it with others. I have such a passion for that and I love to see the students just get that light bulb like, oh, I, I understand it, I know. And whenever they get that, they can do so much with that. They can go so many places with that understanding. And so I just want to share that. I love living life to the full and I feel like learning um, helps you live life to the full. So I want to share that with students. So right now we're going to take a Pledge is like a promise. We're going to promise that we're going to follow the rules of our classroom. So I'm going to read this line by line, and you guys are going to repeat after me. So this is my school pledge. I'm going to read the first line, and then you guys are going to repeat after me. I pledge today to do my best. You guys say it. I pledge today to do my best. I am here to learn all I can. I am here to learn all I can. I know the year is 
bar barely begun, but talk a little bit about uh, working here as an intern at Bells Hill. I, I've only been here for like a week and two days, but um, I've loved every single day of it. My teacher, Mrs. Oliver, is the best. Um, the Lord put me in a really great classroom, and um, I've just loved getting to know the first graders and what it's like to be a teacher that has to be very explicit with what I say. I have to take them through all the steps and just learning how to love on those students, give them hugs, and um, just teach them what they need to know. It's been great. And you've had opportunities already to do your own lessons or short lessons with the kids, right? Yes, I have. This week I was teaching social studies. Next week I'm science. And then the week after that I'll be a full teacher. So I'll be ready to teach with her. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations and best wishes on your year here as well as your trip to Australia. Thank you so much. And finally, we're going to talk to Betty Ruth Baker. Dr. Baker really has been overseeing this Australia connection for quite some time. Uh, okay. Talk about the importance of Baylor's connection with Australia and now I guess Waco ISD's connection with Australia. Australia. Well, one major thing is our partners. Uh, we have a great study abroad program. We are able to uh, go. We've been working with uh, Camp Hill State Primary School has been our partner, and then the infant school was our partner since the very beginning when we began in, uh, in 1992. And then when they merged, uh, we still continued them as our partner. And with doing this, uh, we have a major connection. I personally had been to Australia many times before and, and been in school systems and, and uh, done some lectures personally in my professional development. So I was delighted when we could start this program in Australia because I knew the curriculum, I knew what our students would gain. So we, uh, they give to us a lot because we see different strategies. We see inquiry-based learning, uh, play-based learning with the young children. Uh, we see uh, different uh, techniques of uh, guiding behavior with habits of mind. So we grow in knowledge and technique, and we share with them as well. So that's, we're a regular partner. And I, I don't think that many individuals understand this, but we are recognized by the state of Queensland as an international program, and they are recognized as an international school with us. So it is an international project. That is very exciting, and I can't tell you how much that we appreciate students like Lauren and all the hundreds of others that you've sent over here in the past years and will continue to send. Uh, it really gives our schools a leg up, and I think it gives the Baylor School of Education a leg up to have this partnership between you and Waco ISD. I think you're correct on that. And one thing that I did at the very beginning, we've always had some kind of teacher to teacher connection and children to children, student to student with our interns that are there and their classrooms back here in WISD or whatever uh, school program they're in because I feel like that we are citizens of the world and our children need to know about other places and other countries and other hemispheres. So you see, when we take this trip with our Baylor students, we cross the equator, we cross the international date line, and we're very close to Capricorn. And you know, we learn a lot about the globe. Also, uh, our teachers there and our principal and deputy principal have helped us be able to do research. We've done uh, research in the prep, which is kindergarten. We've done a fra our fraction study. We've done a, a study with geometry. And it's very interesting to see that the philosophy of learning is living and living is learning. So carrying all this knowledge outside of the classroom, not just right there. Well, thank you so much for having these ladies here with us today and this week, and uh, we look forward to this continuing. Well, we appreciate being able to share this with everyone because we think this is a special event, and we have, a we have gained a lot of ideas of how we're going to do more and more communication from there to here. And you know, they're almost a day away from us, so right. it, we, we have been working on those ideas. Great. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Baker, for being here. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Debbie, and thank you, Pam. Thank you. 
Uh, and I guess I'm going to have to sign off because she has such a great accent. Uh, give us a great, a great greeting uh, from Australia. G'day, mate. L <laughs> hope you come down under soon. <laughs> this is Dale Caffey reporting from Bells Hill Elementary.